go. That's what I'm talking about, frog fishing, baby. Woo! That is a good one right there. He hit that thing twice, dude. Awesome. Awesome. Oh god. No, he choked that thing, guys. We are on a mission. We got two hours left to fish in the day, and I told Jimmy. We're gonna try to catch a four pounder by okay. the end of the day. We got two hours of fish. I picked a random area in the lake. I said, let's go over here. It looks good to me. My instincts apparently are pretty good. Yeah, uh, yep. But I'm gonna have Jimmy drive us around, take the trolling motor, and hopefully we can put a five pounder, a four pounder in the boat. Four pounder in two hours, that's a challenge. Let's get this guy back let's down go. the lake let's and get go. after him. Woo! Okay guys, while well, Jimmy's fishing here trying to put a four pounder in the boat, I'm gonna explain this area. I picked it out on a map because it has this really interesting man-made road feature. Oh, he's missing them as I'm talking. But uh, this spot has a really nice man-made road that sticks out in the middle of it and cuts this creek in half. We're currently in the post-spawn period of the year. And whenever bass are in the post-spawn, they're going to congregate around pinch points in the mouths of creeks, whether that is going to be a road, a bridge, or just a narrow channel or narrow mouth to a creek. Whenever you have these areas where they narrow down, the current's going to feed through that area, creating opportunities for bait fish to pull up, for bass to feed on the bait fish, and usually you're gonna find a bunch of fish. It seemed like it was a good call, Jimmy. Is this a good spot? I, I didn't really ask you before we came over here. Yeah, when you pointed to this area of the lake, I smiled, so <laughs> I just went with it. He's the boss. He said, hey, I wanna, let's go try to catch, let's do a four pounder challenge the last two hours of the day. And he's like, we, you know, we fished the river this morning. We went over there to the other end of the lake. And then he picked right here and I was like, all right, let's go. I can get us over there. Okay, well, we're here. Caught a fish, just lost another one here a second ago. We got about an hour and 45 minutes left. Let's get yep. four pounder in the boat. Wow. No, I won't flip it. Did him. There we go. That's the fish I just lost. There we go. Nice one right there. Second fish on the frog. Jimmy, I am getting it. I, You're getting your redemption back. There we go. He kicked my butt in our last video. I'll link it down below. We were catching him up shallow flipping. I'm not a flipper, guys, but I can catch him on a frog. I can tell you that center of the mouth right there, top shelf, throwing a little spro, bronze eye popping frog. I love frog fishing, guys. I'm up in Northwest Arkansas where I fish. There's so many clear lakes, I don't get to frog fish, but I grew up fishing Lake Dardanelle, Arkansas River. Whenever I can throw a frog, I love it. It's the second fish of the day. Nothing is the size we need to actually get the challenge complete, but dude, that's like two frog bites here, three frog bites now in the first 10 minutes of this challenge. Yeah. If they bite this frog, we're, <laughs> we're gonna get this challenge done. Oh. Okay guys, so here's how I'm fishing this frog. Again, it's the Spro Bronze Eye Poppin' Frog in the red ear color. Throwing it on the Denali 7'4 Lithium Pro Frog Rod with 65 pound Sunline braided line and a, uh, Abu Garcia Black Max Reel 50 bucks. And all I'm doing is just fishing this bait up around the shallow cover. And I'm just casting that frog up there, twitching my rod and trying to walk the bait in place. I actually have a full video explaining how to fish a frog, link down in the description about how to work it and all that stuff. But the idea here is that we're in the last couple hours of the day, the sun is setting and these fish hopefully are gonna get a little more aggressive on this top water. We also have a lot of humidity in the air and whenever you have humidity in the summertime and you have a bubble trail coming behind your bait, that means that the water is going to be perfect for this top water. So if you're trying to get on a top water bite like this frog, definitely look for the bubble trail behind your lure as you're dragging it across the surface and look for those humid days and then just work that frog in place around any sort of shallow vegetation and he'll absolutely crush it. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, see that's what's up there right now. That's why that frog is. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, dude, I don't know if it's a con. Got him, big one. That's a good one. Oh no. No, not a good one, not a big one. He was acting like it though. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice one. Solid two and three quarter pounder. Man, Jimmy, they're eating this frog. What are you doing? I'm Are you throwing a frog? <laughs> he is not throwing a frog. When your buddy's catching all the fish on one bait and he offers you one, just take the frog and throw it. That's my advice to you guys right there. Beautiful fish. Not a four pounder though. Felt like a four pounder. You wanna come out here tomorrow morning? <laughs> Yeah, like why, why are we why are we going to Derek's? I, mean, no. I don't want to go catch him offshore. I want to just catch him like, on a frog. I want to come throw the frog. 
<sighs> this is too fun. Uh oh, Jimmy's like, okay, got the frog. I mean, we're getting hammered right here. I caught that nice one. We've got four or five more short strikes. Winch is bitten here right there. Yeah. What is going on with this spot? Why are they loaded up right here? Well, right now, as you see, you know, and the fish are a little behind right now, as we talked about earlier, just here in Arkansas, and it's been weird. But you look here at the drone shot, I mean, these fish spawn way, way back there. And some of these fish go where we can't, uh, where we can't even take a boat to, as you see. So we're fishing these little ditches, these little cuts, and these fish are just coming out right now, and we're just kind of running right into them. It's a fun way to catch them, and you know, right now it's just a perfect storm. Um, like you mentioned earlier, with the with the with the conditions that we got, hope we can get this four pounder. I know we caught some good quality. We just got to now catch a big one. Yeah, I think that we're in the right area. You, again, you want to find these pinch points, these places where these bass are going to be leaving. So just like that first spot with the bridge, this spot we're basically at the mouth of a channel leading back into a spawning pocket. There's a lot of good pinch points in this general area, and there's a lot of good vegetation with these lily pads and all that stuff. So hopefully if we can get in the right little stretch, we can find some just a little bit bigger quality. A lot of times these fish on lakes like this with these vegetation, they'll group up by size and you'll catch three or four four pounders in yeah. one zone. Is that correct? That's exactly right. And, that, and that's happened to me at this lake quite a bit. I mean, you know, like today we have a, a looking like it's gonna be a 15 to 16 pound day. Uh, and if you catch one good one, then there you go. But there's been times for me out here when I catch my 20 pound bags, I mean, yeah, dude, they're all four pounders grouped up and they look like they're brothers and sisters, but family members, but, <laughs> and that's just how this place has been, you know, for me, so. Got him. Be a four pound. It's another good one. You got on the drone. There we go. Here it is. I'm about to pick up my, my flipping rod back out and just got to just, just just go to my go to your comfort zone. Yeah, let's go to my comfort zone. Your safe space. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so one of the reasons why I feel like I might be getting more bites than you on the frog, Jimmy. Let me let me explain. I, I don't know if this is true or not, but it's how I'm walking my frog. Well, so. I got the popping. So what I'm doing though is one thing I do with my frog that is really important is I walk my frog with the tip of my rod and I try to walk it in place as much as possible. And I try not to move it very far forward. I try to move it side to side a lot more. And that's pretty important. So like you can see here, you're chugging yours forward. Oh, like that. So your, your frog, when it's coming through the water, is chugging forward through the water. And I'm walking my bait side to side. I'm trying to make it go side, side, or if it's coming ahead, it goes like this, this. That's the way I'm doing it. And there we go. Oh, little guy. Well, I'm, I'm about to squish. <laughs> saying that, I'll show you how it's done, Jimmy. Let's see if he will uh, eat mine. But it's all about that side to side movement. It keeps it in place for longer, which gives those fish a little bit more time to eat that bait. And I think that that can make a pretty big difference when you're frog fishing. Okay guys, so we just pulled up to our next spot. We don't have that much time left, but I do want to show you really quick that the Deep Dive app is nailing this pattern right now. We take a look at the app, it's showing in the current lake conditions with vegetation, 81 degree water temperatures, dirty water, the top three techniques are a buzz bait, a swim jig, and a top water frog. Now the top water frog is the bait that I'm catching my fish on right now, and it has a 10 effectiveness. The only reason it's not the top bait is because it has a four ease of use. Jimmy back there is kind of struggling with the frog, so. But uh, definitely uh, a really good pattern. If we also take a look through here, you can see that the location is going to be on the main river. And we're not really necessarily on the main, main river, but we're on the main stretch of this backwater right by the river channel. In addition, we're fishing both on channel swing banks, flat banks, and on a road and a bridge. So all three of the structures that are labeled here in the app are places we've caught fish back here and we're also catching them on bank grass as well as lily pads so it's pretty cool that we are seeing all of the cover structure options in the app in the exact conditions we're fishing around millwood lake and we even have the retrieve video in there if you guys want to see exactly how i'm working that bait so definitely check out the deep dive app if you're on the lake and you're struggling to find some fish it will get you in the right areas with the right bait fishing the right cover right retrieve everything like that check it out over at deepdiveapp.com or check it out in the apple app store or google play store just search deep dive app thanks guys just need there more up against that bank i still think i don't know what i'm talking about that's a good one that might be the challenge right there jimmy nope oh golly I was about to say they aren't right here on the stretch. We'll just talk this camera right here. I had it off. I was doing something, but that is a beautiful fish. Oh man, that's a good one. Got potential for us to get a mega bag. 
Oh, oh. Good one? Ah, uh, it's a another two pounder. Ah. Another two pounder. Man, we are getting close at this, guys. We're we're really, really trying. The sun's going down though. We have a kind of a sketchy run getting in, so we probably what like maybe 15 minutes left, Jimmy? We got a little more. A little bit more? 20, 15, 15 to 20. 20. Okay, we gotta make some magic happen in literally 20 minutes. We are, I mean, we're catching. We have a good bag. Honestly, for two hours, we've been fishing for like an hour and what, maybe 30 minutes? Hour and 30 minutes. And we have, I mean, a bag already. This has been fun. Catch him on the frog. Even if we won't complete the challenge, it, it was a fun little uh, two hour deal, but we're gonna get it done. I, I have a feeling. I just have a feeling, Jimmy, it's gonna be some last minute heroics. Oh, got him. That might be, oh, oh no! no. <sighs> that may have been it, man. I don't know what happened there. It's the first one I've lost I tonight. To, yeah, I was about to run over there and get him. That was a freaking good one. I don't know what happened. He I I bowed up, dude. Oh. Well, guys, we didn't get the challenge done. We caught a ton of fish. I what, caught 10 or 15 fish in the frog? Yeah, and we probably had a few. If we would have weighed them, I bet we would have had about 14, maybe close to 15 pounds. My bad, Johnny would have had 14 to 15 pounds. Yeah, how many pounds. frog fish did you catch? I uh, didn't know. Let's not talk about that, okay? <laughs> hey, we're working on this technique. Yeah. It's all good. I gave him my knows. rod. Yeah, this guy knows. This guy knows I, I'm not a big frog guy. <laughs> I, I have a good friend that's I let throw the frog, and I, I do other things. And as earlier, like, you know, I got in the earlier today on the other uh, footage y'all watch I call him flipping that's one of my strengths just with it and he came out here and did what he loved he's good with the frog oh yeah he kicked my butt flipping earlier he's a flipper I'm a frogger that's just kind of how it goes sometimes maybe uh, let us know in the comments if you're a flipper or a frogger yep. kind of be interested to know were you more uh -huh. like me or Jimmy and yeah. uh, man we didn't get the uh, four pounders in the boat no. but it was a lot of fun and man I haven't had that much fun frog fishing yeah. in a long time that's what he was over here fired up and excited that's what I was just like I'm just gonna let him go I sat down <laughs> at a moment I, I enjoyed watching it because I haven't seen him this fired up in a while. I mean, so everything kind of came together. Glad it did. We didn't get that four pound fish, but we caught some and you know, it's fun to watch for y'all. For sure. I think I'm kicking the live scope off the boat because I have way more fun throwing this frog <laughs> up shallow than the live scope. Yep. So you guys might see some different content. I don't know. I might be a changed man after this trip down the Southern yeah, Arkansas. You, you might come down here a little bit more. <laughs> for sure. Let's well, go. Jimmy, let's get it. We're going to be out tomorrow too, trying to get a, a mega bag yeah. offshore, kind of mm -hmm. more my style. So yeah. uh, let's get after it, let's man. Let's go, man. Yeah. See you guys in the next video.